Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the O2 Blue Room. You know, normally we bring you, what, one, two players up to have a chat with afterwards? Well, we've got three. Please welcome to the stage, Danny Kerr, Chris Ashton, and Johnny Wilkinson. Now, gents, that was a great win. It was a very different match to that Italy game. Nine points apiece at half time. What was Martin Johnson saying, Chris, at half time for the second half? Because obviously it all changed. He just told us to stick with the game plan and do what he's doing. We spilt a bit too much ball in the first half, we needed to cut that out, and um, I thought our defence won us the game. I mean, that was the 13th time you'd played France. The fact... <laughs> the fact that you'd been, you'd been warming up in front of that north stand when Toby got injured, and I had the coaching team in front of me waving frantically. Up come you, cool and Luke. Take your kit off. Penalty. Thank you. Good night. It was. Is it your experience that allows you to do that? Did you just? Were you able to just switch in now? Well, funny enough, you, you don't have that much choice. You kind of, uh, <coughs> you kind of get up there and you, you want to do a good job for these guys who have been working hard for 50 minutes and you. <coughs> Let's see Johnny talk, guys. Keep it down for a minute. No, no. I was, I was rambling anyway. It's, it's I'm all good. Carry on. I have to say that that penalty actually allowed Johnny to leapfrog over Dan Carter back to the top of the world point record. Yes. So the king is back. Danny, Danny, the last time that France lost in the Six Nations was here two years ago. So how big a scalp is that for England? And I'm going to say, and you'll hate me for it, heading towards another Grand Slam. Yeah, obviously it's a massive win for us. Um, France have been a brilliant team for the last two years, so it's great to, to get one over them. We, we probably should have won away in Paris last year, so it was great to, 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 bring in, to get a win in front of all the home crowd who've been brilliant for us. Uh, the, in the autumn and in the Six Nations, this is a massive, massive change. You know, the fans are really behind us and really giving us so much, so much good. You know, we want to win for them, do you know what I mean? And it's, uh, it's, great, it's great to see us winning. Chris, if we look ahead to the next match in the Six Nations, the Jocks travel to Twickenham. When they, by their own... By their own concession, they've, they've struggled to achieve what they want to achieve. But does that make them a more dangerous opposition when they arrive here in two weeks' time? Not to us. They're not going to be any different to any team that's coming in the Six Nations. We're just going to do exactly what we've done for the past two weeks and win the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ralph Little. You've got two northern legends on the, on the stage and Danny Kerr. So... Hold him back, hold him back. He's bigger than he looks. <laughs> Everybody's bigger than me anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. Listen, you don't want to hear from me, but uh, what a great result, and it's a privilege to be here with these guys. Thank you very much. Ralph, thank you, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Johnny Wilkinson, Danny Kerr, and Chris Ashton. England player. I guess it would be an England player. Who's your favourite one? Matt Banahan. Matt Banahan? Is he playing today? I think he's on the bench. No, he's not good enough, Matt. He's not in the team, don't worry. <laughs> 